morning, Wahawks. Today is Wednesday, September 25th. It's an A day, and we're getting straight to the announcements. Today's leap activities include homework help and math counts. Mark your calendars to join Ms. Lobianco and Ms. Mozina for Kindness and Chalk Day next Monday, September 30th for leap. As part of Bullying Prevention Month, gather with other Wahawks who want to combat bullying. By spreading kindness, kindness in Chalk Day is celebrated around the United States with the goal to promote kindness by writing words of encouragement on the sidewalks of our school. As a LEAP activity, we will decorate all three entrances of the school with messages of kindness. Whether you're a seasoned pro or a curious newbie, the Buke Esports League is having an open house for middle school students. Discover how their middle school esports team operate, practice, and strategize. Bring your friends, your enthusiasm, and your competitive spirit. Let's level up together. If interested, attend the open house on September 26 from 5.45 to 7 p.m. at 3220 Dodge Street, Suite 109. Here's a friendly reminder to our 7th and 8th graders participating in robotics you have practice today from 2.40 to 3.45. Let's hear for the 8th grade football team as they travel to Farley on Monday to take on Drexler Middle School. The Wildhawks battled for 32 hard minutes but came up just short. A.J. Harris set a new school record with three kickoff return touchdowns in one game and Zay McGee sprinted down the sideline for a 60-yard score. Miles Stickley and Jacob Rickery both punched in a two-point conversion, but the Bobcats came out on top, 36 to 28. Good game, boys. Good luck to the white volleyball teams as they face Roosevelt Black today. Seventh graders are heading to Roosevelt and eighth graders are playing at home. Both games begin at four. Student spectators are not allowed at home volleyball games due to limited space in our bleachers. Now let's turn it over to Mrs. Morrow for some important reminders. Good morning, Wahawks. Ms. Morrow here to talk to you about a couple of expectations and reminders in regards to IDs, hallway etiquette, and arrival and dismissal from school. For the most part, I have noticed that all of you are wearing your IDs at all times, and it is much appreciated. Just a couple of reminders to make sure that when you are traveling to and from gym class that you have your IDs on. They need to be above the waist and visible. Hallway etiquette, many of you will hear me making a comparison to driving a car, which all of you will be doing very soon. Some of you eighth graders may be doing that sooner than later. So hallway etiquette reminders, please walk, drive on the right side of the road, please go the speed limit, no running. As well, make sure that you have your ID on, which would be very similar to having your license plates and registration up to date. And last but not least, making sure that you are not bumping into others hands on or messing around as that would cause a crash as if you were driving a car. Last but not least, I would like to remind everybody to make sure that they are using the crosswalks when they are arriving to school and at departure. For those of you that are getting picked up or dropped off on Lombard, please make sure that you are using the crosswalk that's at the corner of Lombard Dodge Highway 20. It's really important that we use that crosswalk instead of darting across Lombard. There is traffic coming and going both directions along with vehicles parked on both sides of the road and it makes it difficult for vehicles to be able to see students. So please make sure that you're using the crosswalk. Just a reminder for students that are getting dropped off, walking to school, leaving school, that we use the Grand View crosswalk. Guards are out there. Just make sure that you wait until the guards have stopped traffic and they motion for you to cross at that time. Safety is super important to us and we wanna make sure that all of you are using those crosswalks and following the adults' directions as they are assisting you with departure and arrival to school. Thank you. Happy birthday wishes go out to Jacob Wickery, George Simpson, and Vanessa Waller today. We hope you all have an amazing day. And to wrap it up, 
Here's your thought of the day. Perpetual optimism is a force multiplier. Make, Make it, it a great, great day, day Wahawks. Wahawks.